What a glorious day to be alive. Oh my goodness, could it be? Has the summit arrived? Oh, blue sky. Blue sky. We have had, uh, we have had the mother of all endings to spring. Uh, if it's finished, we're probably going to end up with more cold weather coming in. But for now, we're going to forget all that because we've got a bit of a whoop. Got a bit of a high coming in. Got a bit of a high, so it's warm. 23 degrees in here. It's going to be like this for at least the next week. So, why am I talking about the summer? Why was I talking about the summer? <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> That's what my brain's like. I start talking and forget why I started talking. My goodness. Right. We are going to crack on with this uh, with this video. We need to get these ports off here because uh, like I said in the previous video we are looking to swap these out I don't know whether you can see but this one's got a dint on it I might recondition them again I don't know someone did send me a link to an eBay um, seller that was selling them I did go on Brew UK they are sold out and I went over also to Keg Kingdom um, they don't supply them we're going to take them off and just see what it is that's stopping it sealing for now but before we do that I was going to crack on and do that but before we do that we are going to check that the other connector for the tap seals all right on it so the reason why we the reason why we changed this out this this originally was going to have the pale in it the reason why is because even with the um, outpost connected with the connector that was running to the tap it was still leaking so I swapped the kegs out and it stopped someone left a message where's my phone? I've got it yeah I got a message from uh, Richard Lindsay and he said uh, sure it's not the disconnect rather than the post he said he had a cheap one from eBay that leaked all the time and as soon as he bought a decent one there was no issue to which I replied, well, if it was the, the disconnect, then it would have done the same thing on the second keg that we swapped it out for. Um, but it did get me thinking that maybe I ought to check that, that the other disconnect for the other tap that's not in use maybe doesn't become an issue with this outpost. Before I take it all to bits, I'm just going to check it. Before we check that, we need to rectify our stupid mistake and sort out the beer line. Sun's out! Right, I still laugh you know when I look at that. When I look at that little bit of rubber protruding it makes me giggle. How could you be so goddamn stupid? Look at that. Eh? How could you think that would seal you stupid boy? What a goof. What an absolute goofus so I split this rubber as well it has completely split what an idiot we're gonna give it a whirl anyway fellas so it should be like this I didn't show you when I sorted the last tap out but it should be like this that goes in there like that and the seal goes on top of there like that course because then it's pressing that against this like like so yeah I'll have to head over to Keg Kingdom and see if they do replacement seals if they don't I'll have to I'll have to tap uh, I'll have to tap Matt up and see if uh, see if I can buy one off him he's a pretty sound guy so uh, that's how it should be connected so now we can get some liquid in that keg and see if see if this disconnect seals on the dodgy post right we are filled with the gas and uh, nothing's coming out of it at the minute it is good so we've got uh, we've got the water in the keg for testing gas is on so it's under pressure so uh, if it was going to leak it would be 
it to be already trying to force it out of there because um, the pin is activated it's open so it looks like this particular disconnect is happy on that post which is a bit dodgy or maybe something's I don't know I don't know what's happening anyway it's not leaking now with this uh, with this other disconnect on so that's well, uh, that's fine thank you sir we seem to be leak free so maybe we don't have to uh, sort that post out maybe we don't we got the old King Dex out for nothing. It's even sorted itself out now. The disconnects not on. What are you doing to me? Why were you giving me so much trouble last time? Hmm. So we've got uh, we've still got the water in the keg and the gas is still connected and we're sealing. It wasn't doing that last time. Why? 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 I Why? It sorted itself out. Uh, regardless, it sorted itself out, so I'm happy. I am happy. Let's pour another beer. Oh my god, the ant! Ah, it would appear that uh, that I've been too premature with the uh, solving of the post. Because uh, she did some raking again, so we're going to investigate it and get to use the king deck. Right, so this uh, this post is still giving me some jip. It has been leaking, so we're gonna have a look inside. And uh, I can't remember how you get these bloody things out. Oh, yeah, I think if I remember, there's a little clip in here. But uh, you have to prise it out. Oh well, uh, this has seen better days. Well, you can see that O-rings uh, had it. It's perished. I haven't been looking after that. I should have been putting uh, lubricant on that occasionally. We'll see if we've got one that'll uh, replace that. That's a bit too big. I think by the time I've done messing about finding an O-ring or taking that one off of the other one, uh, which I don't think will work, we would be better off switching the old thing out, I think. It's not worth it for today, so I'll put some lubricant on there, see if we can get it sealing. Oh baby, you only need a little bit. That's what I keep telling her. Let's put a bit on there. Just a little bit. Fold these legs out a bit. Pop it back in. Let's see if that bit of lubricant is going to help. Just seal it up for now. If not, we're either going to have to get new innards for this or just swap it out for a new post. I'll keep the gas connected and uh, take this off. We're not leaking at the minute. I'll take it off and see if it sorts it out. Let's get some tissue to the top off. see that is dry as a bone dry as a bone oh that sorted it tell you lubricant that's all it needs just a smidge of lubricant oh dear lord right I'm gonna leave that now and check it later on tonight see if uh, see if we haven't sprung a leak because it did this to me before it looked okay although I didn't dab it off with tissue so I didn't know whether it was uh, completely dry and not leaking uh, but it's it's dry now, so we'll see. A couple of hours, we'll check it. It's got gas pressure on it, and it's full of water. So if there's anything going to be leaking out, we'd see it. And that's it. We'll check in a bit. Thank God I managed to get my king dick out for this video. Didn't think I was going to be able to use it. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, don't know how well that's going to hold up for the future, but for now, 
seems to be holding, seems to be sealing again, which is good. So maybe we can hold off on getting the post. We'll see how it uh, see how it does in the next couple of days. If it holds the pressure, then um, we might just wing it for the next brew and then alter things if we start to encounter problems. Although it would be a pain having a full keg in there and then it deciding to start leaking. So maybe we should do it before that happens. Possibly, possibly. Uh, talking about the keyser, looks like we're going to be filling her up sooner than I thought in regards to keggage. The Patreon page now has been open for a week, just over a week, and in that short period of time I've had quite a good response on it, which is fantastic. But it means that uh, we can press on with more content, press on with more videos and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting some more keggage action happening and then of course we need to add more taps and more line and it all makes the content so big thanks to everyone that's gone over to the patreon page and supported me on there there's a link in the description box if you uh, wish to support you don't have to I mentioned it in the last video you don't have to at all uh, but it's there if you wish to it's already helping the near future and I can see it helping the distant future of where I plan to be. We need to uh, crack on with ordering grains and finding some time to brew up the Pilsner because we've got that Pilsner yeast ready and waiting to bring on the summer. 24 degrees, 25, 24 degrees, it's toasty. It's very nice. And the pail's going down even better. Mm, but that's it. That's it. So as always guys, don't forget to thumb up video because you don't know. Don't forget to hit the like and hit subscribe, click it, and you won't subscribe to the video. I'll see you until next time. I'm out of here.